The countdown is on from Milwaukee, Wisconsin at Fiserv Forum. The Celtics taking on the Bucks For Boston, a tough road loss in game one put them at a deficit. A big win tonight would get them back on track. Bucks, Celtics, round one of the NBA playoffs. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Well, almost all of the Greek Freaks' points come in the paint. Giannis said, I can already do a lot of damage, basically without a jump shot. Just driving, making plays, and free throws. When that jump shot comes, it's going to be a problem for a lot of players in this league. Kevin? <laughs> You're right, D.A. It'll be scary. Thanks. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Walker and Smart, the guards. Tatum and Hayward make up the two forward spots. And it's Horford in at the center position. And for Milwaukee, they've got Favors. Malcolm Brogdon out there at Bloodsaw. Then there's Noah. And it's Giannis in at the three, the small forward. Celtics off the tip. Hayward kicks to Walker. Back to Hayward. Here's the pass to Horford. Just five on the clock. Here's Smart. Good D by Brogdon. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. The putback. It's good on the putback. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And Walker kicks to Hayward. With the floater in deep. Smart drops it in. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. What's the right side? Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Hayward. And Hayward at the stuff. And, and as a wing player, Hayward's just so good at attacking the basket. I think that's a big part of what makes him special. Doesn't take much of an opening for Hayward to make his move. Favors finds Giannis. Off target with his three. Celtics have gone two or three here to start off the game. Smart passes to Walker. Now Hayward. Guarded by Bledsoe. Back to Hayward. Here's Walker. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Hayward can hit. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Beyond the arc. And no good that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Inside, Hayward. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley. you, you, you got to love that. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. It actually almost makes him a little more special. Grace over power is how I would look at it. It doesn't go for him. Great defense that time from Noah. To the middle and stolen by Horford. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Tatum wide open. He fires one. No good from outside. And so on to Kumba will bring it up for the Bucks. They won in their last outing for Saturday's game. And it says a lot about you that even when you're not at your best, they definitely were still in that game and able to win. Greg, the, they were better than the box score might indicate because they were solid in execution, more so than the stats would show. First one falls for him. 
Yeah, Adam DeCumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the strike at a higher clip with each passing year. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Ludzo against Walker. This is to Horford. Here's Hayward. And the rejection by Favors. Logged in the pass to Bledso. He gets that one. This is the kind of unselfishness he loves seeing from Brogdon, making sure he gets it to the open man. Celtics trail by four. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Walker. Bledso with the defensive effort. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Now here's Horford. A second chance effort, and that's two points on the layup. A remarkable interior presence. Horford's a veteran who still has those polished post moves. Onto Takumbo looking it over. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And here is Horford. Six on the shot clock. Tatum finds Smart. It's over Brogdon. Smart misses. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Here's Budso. Back to Anadokounmpo. Over Smart. Down it goes. Nice one there from Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo's got six points. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Hayward against Favors. Horford dishes to Hayward. That's another miss. Number four. He's two for six shooting. And Bledsoe has it in the corner. Good on the three-point shot. He's got seven. You know, Bledsoe is a decent shooter from outside, but I think it's really important that he continues to connect from there. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. Gordon Hayward reunited with his college coach, Brad Stevens. He said they go way back. Our relationship started when I was in high school. He came to my morning workouts and uh, really recruited me at Butler and was kind of the first guy that I think believed in me that I could make it to the next level. I'm sure, Greg, that relationship played a big role in Hayward deciding to join the Boston Celtics. And not just a connection, but a respect. Hayward now a veteran in this league, while Stevens has moved into the conversation for one of the better young coaches in our league. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Dante Jacumbo is out there with Tony Snell. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Hill. And it's Favors in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. And so far, two. these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy baskets. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. And the first one at the line is good. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. Nick Stauskas is checked in from Malcolm Brockton. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Milwaukee leading by nine. Giannis kicks to Hill. Unloads. 
Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Hill's got his first two points of the night. And, you know, when Hill is working the pick and roll, he's got a lot of different ways that he can hurt you. He's very talented, and he's also a good decision maker, and that makes it problematic for the defense. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, the basket guy still shaking. Oh, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. And Derek Favors with the slam. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain simple one-hander, just like pound cake. I would agree. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. He kicks to Antetokounmpo. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Really enjoy watching Antetokounmpo show off his toughness. I mean, he's not a real thick guy. Long, angular, and muscular. And much tougher than he looks. That's why I think he's able to overpower defenders at times. Oh, Kev, he put some anger <laughs> behind that one. You're telling me. Treated the rim like it stole something from him. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. Eight points for him. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Outside Williams. Passes to Horford. To the inside. Here's Tatum. And it's good. Two points. Tatum's got four points this quarter. Man, I like the way Tatum plays through contact. Stays with his shot no matter what the defense throws at him. Favors passes to Giannis. Second shot opportunity. Favors can't get it to go. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way. Oh, what a dunk! Brown with that amazing athleticism putting on a show out there with jams like that. Hill looking it over. Pass to Antetokounmpo. It's back to Hill. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got four assists in the game. And Walker kicks to Williams. 122 left in the first half of basketball. Brown the pass to Tatum. Rebounded by the Bucks. Loads it up for Giannis. An emphatic LU jam. And Anacumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Walker goes in. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knocks out. But it looks like they're putting it together right now. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Now, under Gumbo. Here's Favors, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Bucks lead by eight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Derek, big effort in the first half. Did Coach ask you to come out here and really set the tone? Oh, uh, yeah. I know our Coach wanted me to be aggressive, and I, I came out and I was aggressive. And it showed on the floor. Thanks, Derek. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. 
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for Milwaukee, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Well, the Greek freak, he said in his interview that he's low-key. But you saw in the first half, he got that rare inner passion for the game. Kind of like Kawhi Leonard, Tim Duncan. They just destroy you quietly. Kenny, how do you think the Celtics were playing? Well, they're giving up too many high-percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any ball. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Tatum and Hayward make up the two forward spots. Walker and Smart the guard. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's Walker. Following the three from Eric Bledsoe. Stolen by Bledsoe. Oh, and here comes Bledsoe all alone. Count that one. Bledsoe's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Hayward outside. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And the long reach of Antetokounmpo. I mean, stretches for days. And because of that, he's excellent at challenging shots. Now here's Bledsoe. Fires at the elbow. Great positioning on the footpad. And the Bucks lead by 15. They have been more dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Boston. Pass to Hayward. Looking to end the run. Doesn't go for him. The Bucks go the other way with it. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. The Bucks have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Shooting two. That free throw good from Brockton. And you know, the 2016-17 Rookie of the Year continues to impress. Brogdon is a valuable role player who does a lot of things well. The Bucks making a switch here. Elias Opus checked in. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Celtics. Rondo comes in for Walker. Brogdon hits them both. Celtics trail by 17. Rondo kicks to Tatum. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Paul Gasol is checked in for the Celtics. Tice passes to Gasol. And here's Smart. Six to shoot. Hits from the high post. Smart's got his second basket. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. And there's the pass to Giannis. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. 14 points for Giannis under the Kumbo. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. 
Gasol passes to Rondo. Goes up with the stripe. I'm shot is good that time. And, you know, he's proven to be capable at, at sinking that mid-range jump shot. Uh, Rondo has to be respected from that part of the floor. No good from Bledsoe. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And, you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. The offensive rebound goes back up. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The Bucs shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Celtics making a switch here. Browns checked up. in. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Now here's Rondo. Out to Hayward. A baseline J. And the shot goes in. Yes, sir. Hayward's got six. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And quite honestly, guys, Antetokounmpo, get that name right, folks. He's one of the most unique, talented players in the league. I mean, long Take arms, break. which break. really create a lot of problems for the defenders, whether he's passing or shooting. That's good from Antetokounmpo. Free throws, good for Giannis. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Celtics. They trail by 18. Passes it to Hayward. Back to Rondo. At the elbow, it's smart. Shoots. Rebound by Elias Hope. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. For Noah. 144 left to play in the third. Rondo passes to Brown. Smart on the wing. Milwaukee with the rebound. Andre DeCumbo's got six rebounds now in the game. And he's got it going now. In this kind of a zone, I think the D's have to just get out of onto the Kupo's way. 102 left in the third. Tice finds Hayward, takes a three. Good on the triple. Hayward's got nine points. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Rondo. Yep, that one goes in there. Rondo's got four points in the quarter. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. 
down low. Here's out to Takumbo. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here is Hayward. Nine points in the game so far. Just three to shoot. Rondo's shot is off. Down is on to Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's at the quarter century mark. 25 points for him in this game as they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. We've got Brogdon, Wilson out there with Favors, and then there's Antetokounmpo, and it's Bledsoe in at the point guard position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now, Antetokounmpo, after Gordon Hayward's three-pointer, they didn't go. Oh, and there's the alley-oop up high to stop the alley-oop. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open guys. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Hayward outside. Lock at six. Over Favors. Great D that time from Favors. Bucks leading by 23. The shot by out of the combo. Nobody around. And a miss there on the triple. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Boy, set him up nicely that time, guys. And Tatum, like most players, shoots better off a good pass. Now, here's Brogdon. Bledsoe outside. Pass to Wilson. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. Brown kicks to Walker. A shot, no good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. To the left wing, near the three-point line, it's Budso. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Round the pass to Horford, and here's Walker outside. Milwaukee leading by 21. Brogdon outside. hauled in by Brock. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. And here's Walker outside. Walker missing again. The Bucks have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one mate. Bledsoe passes to Giannis. The baseline J. And a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. The patience that Anthony Takumpo plays with is really impressive for such a young guy. I mean, he doesn't rush anything. Hayward outside. This one for three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. And he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. And the floor awareness of Walker impressive there as he got the ball to the open man. Bledsoe looking it over. The rebound by the Celtics. Outside, Walker. Here's the teardrop. Rebound, Milwaukee. 
Wilson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Bledsoe. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. This guy's a big-time gamer. Eric Bledsoe, unstoppable. To the paint, here's Hayward, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for Milwaukee. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Giannis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today. Relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebound. Now, here's Horford. Brown finds Tatum. Shoots over Brogdon. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by Brown. You know, guys, Tatum's ability to rise into his jump shot makes him hard to defend for just about all defenders. Wilson the pass to Giannis. Back to Wilson. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Hayward, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. good from Hayward and you know there's no question about it Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really really score and so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one and this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series up now break two zip with all the momentum on their side I mean in fantastic shape right now if they can capitalize on this victory and win game three you can just about put this series to bed you got it and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defensive stops. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's show tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ong, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later.